Hey guys, MRA back again. It's been a minute, but, uh, you know, doing these videos whenever I can. I told you guys I'd be busy, but uh, nonetheless, I have today a new 1-6 scale figure, and it's done by Denny Kim and his team, uh, iMini-Me. Uh, this just came in last week, and I uh, thought I'd do a little video to show you guys what she's all about. This is Ellen Ripley, of course, from the movie Alien. And um, due to licensing, they had to call this uh, piece the uh, Space Trucker. But, of course, she is uh, Sigourney Weaver in the role of Ellen Ripley. Not too bad overall. You got the details there of the patch and uh, some of the, some of the uh, insignias there on the uh, chest. Oops. And the inner shirt there. Oops. She also has a green T-shirt underneath. And. Uh, it actually touched up mine. If you get yours, uh, the hands they use, you know, that came with the body were terrible. I switched them out with Hot Toy female hands because uh, they're a lot smaller and, you know, to me more feminine. I also uh, painted the forearms because they were a lot too light, uh, you know, and they didn't really match the uh, Hot Toy's hands, so I color matched it as best I could, and uh, I think it came out looking a little bit better. So, um, again, this is the uh, Ellen Ripley piece by Denny Kim in I Mini Me. She also came with this little cool caricature face. It's a magnet. There's a little magnet there on the back, and you can stick it uh, on any metallic piece like a refrigerator or something. It should stick okay. Um... In the background, I have my Hot Toys Big Chap Alien. I don't think I ever did a review on this piece, but uh, it's been out for a while. I think a couple years now. And there are a ton of re reviews out there, I'm sure. He has bendy hands. He also comes with a pair of fixed hands, but these are the bendy hands that I have him on. And uh, his tail is also rubber with a uh, wire inside so you can also bend that into oops there he goes into uh, the various positions that you prefer uh, it's tough doing these review guys with one hand but I'm doing my best uh, let me put him there by Ripley 
And behind Ripley, I have uh, Dallas there from also, you know, these are all from the original Alien mo movie. Spacesuit there designed by Mobius, I believe. And a really cool piece, one of my favorite Hot Toy figures from way back. I just wish the uh, suit wasn't rubber. Kind of worried about it falling apart over time, but so far so good. It's still holding up. I haven't really had it on display, so uh, hopefully just keeping it in storage is uh, protecting it. And here we have uh, Kane with a face hugger that uh, burst through his helmet and attached itself to his face. Pretty much the same outfit as Dallas otherwise. And they both come with these uh, stands with the alien egg. I believe Kane had the uh, egg that had the open mouth, but I have that somewhere else on display. But it's similar to that, and uh, this is the alternate head sculpt of Kane, which looks nothing like the actor in the film, which is unfortunate. So uh, I have that put aside, and you know I prefer this head sculpt anyways with the uh, face hugger. They do have LEDs that uh, switch on to light up the helmets. But uh, I'm not going to do that tonight. And again, the star of the show for this evening is my Ellen Ripley by Denny Kim and I Am Any Me. Pretty happy with it. You know, not 100% happy, but, uh, you know, I don't have an Ellen Ripley in the collection. And this pretty much fills that void. There could be a lot of improvements. Um, you know, like I said, I had to touch up the arms and the uh, hands. I wish the body was different. Um, the face could be a lot better. And I'm glad they went with the alternate uh, longer hair look as opposed to her with the ponytail. But uh, not too bad overall. Alright guys, that's about it. Thought I'd share that. That's one of the latest pieces I have. And um, uh, that's about it. Standard I'm in me box. Let me see if I can open that up. Nothing special. All his boxes are like this. He includes a photo of the piece and a uh, certificate of authenticity. So I have a number 18 out of 70 there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care, keep on collecting. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.